When I read the scriptures, I'm often amazed that when I look at the apostles, sometimes it just doesn't seem like they're paying attention, that they're listening to what Jesus is saying. This week we see in the scripture, they're arguing over who's the greatest. They just don't seem to get it. But what does Jesus do? Jesus does something very, very wonderful. He, he takes a little child, and little children were at the lowest rung in the Jewish society. They were at the bottom of the pecking order. And he takes this little child, and he picks him up, and he sits him next to him. He puts him in a seat of honor at his right hand. The apostles were arguing who would have that seat of honor, who would be the greatest. And Jesus takes a little child and he puts him in that seat of honor. He is trying to teach us that our ego gets in the way. Oftentimes uh, we are all bucking for recognition in places of honor and Jesus is talking about being humble. Think about how he entered our humanity. He was born in a stable. How humble is that? He wasn't born in a palace or an upscale neighborhood like Anaheim Hills. He was born in a stable. And then when he was growing, his dad had to take him to a foreign country because the king was looking for him to kill him. He spent his early growing up years in a foreign land with foreigners who spoke a different language. How humble is that? And then, of course, the matter of his death for our salvation, how he was brutally beaten and put on a cross. What, what an amazing way to bring about our salvation. But that's how our God is. Our God not only tells us that we need to be humble, but he shows us what true humility is. The things that I do as a deacon when I'm at the altar, when I'm in church, when I'm standing before people, that's not what's important. It's what I do behind the scenes when no one sees. The things I do that no one knows. That's what's important. We, all of us, need to look at our motives, examine how we do things. Do we do things for fame and for glory, for recognition, for honor, or do we really do them for love of our Lord? Our God tells us, and the prophet Micah reminds us, one of my favorite sayings. I, I try to say this saying uh, every couple of days, and, and I just love this. I paraphrase, it goes like this. Walk humbly with your God in everything you do. These are the things that I'm asking of you. I humbly submit this to you today to think about how do you walk with your God?